here in Australia, we have it. Um, a government driven by ideologies and don't want to look at evidence. What I'm talking about is um, I saw an a article on the, um, the Guardian Post, the Guardian, and the title is Carbon Capture and Storage Research But Just Latched Despite PM's Cold Focus. Well, uh, first of all, if you want to store you know, carbon, there are already some uh, proven methods. For example, using biochar. Uh, biochar basically means we burn the uh, organic material, but not 100% burn it, and just burn it into a charcoal. And then uh, the charcoal itself uh, have a lot of um, spaces inside because it's, it's come from an organic material. If we allow this um, biochar to be inoculated with uh, different kinds of microorganisms, then this will provide a habitat for a lot of soil microorganisms, which can improve the soil fertility. So by producing biochar and then mixing the biochar into farmlands, then we can store carbon for a long term without the need of, for example, liquefying carbon dioxide and pumping it underground to some uh, spaces underground, for example, like that. I found that kind of storage a bit troublesome. First of all, we know that the deeper we dig, the hotter is the rock. So that means underneath our um, uh, land masses, the lower down is hotter. If we are going to capture carbon dioxide and convert it into, for example, solid carbon dioxide and store it down there, then it, the heat will melt the carbon dioxide and then you will build up the pressure and come out. The other thing is we want to store um, carbon, carbon for extended period. We don't want to just store it for a year or two. There's no guarantee that this kind of long-term storage can survive. We human being has only a history, a civilization of about 5,000 years. On what ground can we say that we are, we are confident that we can store something for thousands or hundreds of thousands of years? Whereas we don't have that history to demonstrate. So I, 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 I do not agree that uh, carbon storage is a solution. Yes, burn, um, burning coal produces carbon dioxide, making steel produces carbon dioxide. There's a lot of industrial processes which will em emit carbon dioxide. In order to achieve a zero emission, that means on one hand, we get the carbon going out, then, on the other hand, we can get some plant growth, which the plant will absorb the carbon dioxide from air anyway, and then convert that plant into long-term storage. Making furniture might be a solution, but again, furniture lasting 300 years, 500 years is almost its maximum. You, you cannot expect um, a furniture, a wooden furniture to last for thousands of years. So the better way to store carbon is convert it into biochar and mix it into the ground. Then, not only the fertility of the ground will improve, that also is a very safe, easy, cheap method of storing carbon dioxide. I don't know why uh, people do doesn't want to pursue on that line of investigation is cheap. But on the notes about um, the current government slashing research funding, that is typical of a of a, a government driven by ideology. They hate to see evidence. They hate to see sciences coming out. So that's what we expect. So what we can do? Well, uh, I didn't roll for 
uh, Tony Abbott. So don't blame me. And next time I won't vote for him as well. I just wish more people is like me don't vote don't vote for a government which is driven by ideologies. What we need is a government uh, driven by evidence, looking at evidence and based on the evidence, make decisions for everyone, not a few. Anyway, bye.